Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a look at the Old City Leviathan, which is a new first-person adventure that combines the meandering, ambiguous narrative of Dear Esther, the multi-linear structure of Gone Home, and the unfathomable warping environment of the Stanley Parable. The game is set to release on December the 1st, and I'm just going to jump in and just play and let the game take its course. Um, I'll just quickly show you the credits. It's a small team. Um, Postmod Softworks. Okay, I'm just going to jump in. Let's do it. Hello again. I guess it's time for us to chat, as is our routine. Not to imply that this is unwanted. In fact, I think I'm growing rather fond of you. <laughs> hmm. You and I have shared a grand nothingness, and I feel as though your belly is a suitable embassy amidst the unknown above. Admittedly, and please do not take offense, your innards sometimes frighten me. Even in the complete safety of a belly unto myself, there are places like this that I do not want to know. I wonder if the dwellers would cluster together like rats if they really understood the true value of isolation. All of their pathetic little wars and ridiculous assumptions of superiority would be washed away if they all had their own private labyrinths to roam around in. Granted, they could never understand the importance of the individual the megalomania of justice in the guild, order, and, yes, even the unknowing. It's far too strong. There really is no point in even attempting dialogue. Shall I ascend to your lungs and feel your breath? I think that would be lovely. <laughs> Thank you. 
simple little animals, aren't they? Filthy, no doubt, but can you really blame them? I suppose that if I were to hate them for their nature, I would be just as filthy. It's an odd position. To hate a rat for being a rat is to make oneself a rat all the same. Funny how they all hoard the same supplies. All of it from the old city, and all of it wasted. Would you grant me another ascent? I've explored your innards. Let me scale your back. It's always struck me as odd that evil is never self-aware. I mean, the most horrendous actions, these conglomerate endeavors of warring cabals, are caused by the best intentions. So all that's left is this grand suspicion of idiocy. Good intentions are moot under the control of a ludicrously stupid idea. But my contribution is hardly an appropriate contrast. I would like to argue that my contribution is non-existent, and thus superior to their negative impact. But, the truth is, we're all infinitely terrible for not contributing at all, be it through neutrality or detriment. I don't know why we exist in self-destroying structure. We all share a fondness for that which is correct, and we're all certain that we have it. But there must be a way for that loyalty to flourish without burning the last shreds of coexistence between our species. That is, a species that is primarily defined by its diversity. I don't know if I'm arrogant for assuming that my desire for progress is any indication of my task as a catalyst. But I tried to find Tarshish already. Only in my attempted escape did you find me. And I do not believe that you found me without reason.
These dreams act as mirrors. Like passive portraits of the complexities of the human mind, they paint self, just as ideas paint the universe. Dreams truly are the most honest form of introspection, even if I can only use them as an escape. Of course, if this mirror is to be trusted, then I'm just as vile as the others. The contrast between my reality and this one tells me that I do not belong here. The only thing I have that they do not is a fondness for this new world. Okay, I think that gives you a basic idea of the opening moments of the old city. I'm not sure um, if there was more for me to explore, but this is the uh, preview build. And as I said, the game releases on December the 1st. Okay, I'm Rob Cram. Thanks for watching. <laughs>